going in search of wild plums this morning. I think I know where there's a tree, uh, whether I can get down to it. Usually it's too wet to get to it, but uh, I'm gonna go try it today. We got uh, muck boots on, I might do it. Let's go see. Well, as it turns out, those weren't plums. They were plum leaf crab apples, which are not quite ready. So I'll, I'll go back down there later. But I'm gonna walk out along the edge of the road and uh, it's been raining for three days and I hope they're still there because they're ready as high bush cranberries. Let's go see if we can get some. Well, a lot of them are gone. Um, hopefully I can get a, enough to make some jelly. There's a big old clumps up there. See if I can zoom in there. All right, where are you? I'm zoomed in, but I can't see them. All right, commence the picking. I'm gonna have to set the uh, camera down. There really ain't no place to film here to get those down. At least I think there's no place to film. I can try. Sure, I can try. If I set that. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not going to work, and I don't want my new phone to end up in the uh, weeds somewhere, so I'm just going to pick them. Aren't those beautiful? Butamus. It's time to clean the berries. Huh. Interesting hair, do we? So I'd been videoing along, explaining what I was doing, and um, turns out the camera was on photo mode. And that some of these are not ripe, and some of them, some of them, almost a swear again there. Some of them are uh, really ripe. You can tell. See that one there? It got some goosh to it. Whereas that one there, a little tingy yellow and it's hard. A couple times I've put the berries in the stem bucket. Not good, not good, not good. I think I mentioned before when I was taking a picture and not a video that I was probably going to put these out on a cookie sheet for a couple of days out on the screen porch and let them ripen a little bit more. And they will. Done it before. Actually, in the past, when we didn't have our own patch, there was a patch down by the boat launch on Caribou Lake. And if you didn't get down there <laughs> before they were ripe, somebody else would pick them. And I would imagine <laughs> they they would get as disgusted as I would get when they were out. You go down there and you've been watching them and watching them and you get down there and they're all gone. So it got to the point, if you wanted them, you had to get them like just before they were ready. And then we'd put them out cookie sheets on the screen porch and let them continue to write, which they would. And they were fine. But I bet you that thoroughly disgusted. So 
if you watch my videos and you happen to be up here by detour and uh, you go to the boat launch to pick cranberries and they weren't there a couple of times when you thought they were, that's probably me. And if it was you that did it to me, you were better than me that year. This is the first clean and usually I go through them a couple of times. It's worth it. In the end, it's worth it. As long as they don't taste like outhouse cranberries. All right, now I gotta tell you about outhouse cranberries. See that outhouse? Uh, it's out there. There's a cranberry bush. Let me dry my fingers and see if I can zoom in there. How do we unzoom? Right there, I guess. Um, so I've made jelly twice with the cranberries that grow beside that outhouse. They're nasty. I don't know what the difference is. Different strain, something. I don't think it's got anything to do with the outhouse because that's a container outhouse. It's not a hole in the ground. So the two should not meet. Roots and poops should not come together. But it's disgusting. And I save them for the birds. The birds will eat them. Okay, back to the cleaning. I don't have any sugar. I need to get some sugar. I got jars. I got some pectin. What else do I need? I need sugar. I got jars and lids and pectin. Um, I have some butter. There's a tablespoon of half a tablespoon of butter I put in there to keep it from foaming when it's cooking. I also, oh, I might not have some lemon juice. I always put a quarter cup of lemon juice in it. I might need to check for that. All right, no sense using all the space up on my camera because that's what happens and then I don't have space to compile a video before I delete all the files off my camera. So, take a look. I'm putting the clean ones in there, putting the garbage in there, and uh, hopefully when we get done, we shall have five cups. Well, this cling doesn't work all that great. Oh, I swear. All right. There she they shall set. I'll look at them tomorrow. If I have to look at them the next day, I'll look at them the next day. Soon there will be jelly. Camera, camera, camera. Cameras on that side phone. Not on that side. So if I if I look over here, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking over here. Uh, I'm looking at the camera. Oh, what the heck. I'll just look in the centers. I'm looking at me. See, when I look at me, I'm not looking at me. If I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at you. All right, I look at the camera. So I'm going to call an end to this video for today because tomorrow I'm going sawmilling. I'm going to go cut some cedar for Gary. Uh, hopefully we get enough to finish his barn siding up. Um, it looks like this right now. And uh, I don't have any sugar, so I need to wait a day on the cranberries. And uh, I'll go get some sugar. And what I'd like you to do, if you would... If you haven't, is um, 
Oh, what is it you're supposed to? Ah, oh, subscribe. You're supposed to subscribe. Or if you would, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And then there's a little notification bell. Ring that bell. If you ring that bell and subscribe this time, you will get notified when I make the jelly. If you want to know how to make high bush cranberry jelly. And then later on, uh, next week probably, get another frost or so. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get those... Uh, 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 plum leaf crab apples, which I, all this time I thought there were plums out there in a swamp. That's out in a swamp. And, uh, I don't know how that got out there, but it's out there with the winter berries and a bunch of other stuff. And now I know it's there and, uh, we're going to make some crab apple something or others, probably jelly. All right. Tune in. If you will, if you would notify the bell, Notif no, no, you don't notify the bell. You ring the bell. I gotta go do something. All done here. This is where I used to get them. Not much bush left either. You know what this is? I do. Dogwood. Ain't nothing ate them berries yet. Okay, and a field trip.